Hello and welcome to this short MD80 and Candle MD Tools guide. Last time we showed how to set up the hardware and run a few simple examples. Today we'd like to go through the terminal tools and show how to change the most important settings of the MD80 controllers. In this tutorial we'll be running the same setup as before, two actuators with a candle device connected to the PC. To install the MD2 you should proceed to Mab Robotics GitHub page and go to the MD2 repo. Here we can see the readme file which contains some instructions on how to build MD2 from sources and how to install it from the dev package file. We'll go for the dev package installation and in order to do that we have to go to the releases page and choose the appropriate version. In our case we're going to install it on desktop so we will choose the AMD64 version. If you'd like to run it on Raspberry Pi you should choose the appropriate ARM version. Let's now open the terminal window and type sudo apt install and choose our package. After a successful installation we should be able to type md2 and see the following help message. The first thing we're going to do after the installation is just type MD tool and press enter. This is the help message which is shown in case the command is not recognized or is missing. The commands listed here can be used to configure or test the actuators. Let's start with the ping command which discovers all the MD80 controllers on the CAN bus. After the command is executed, we can see the actuator IDs that are available on the bus. Now, knowing the IDs, let's change one of them from 100 to 300. Let's type md2 command once again and see which subcommand should we use for that task. The config subcommand seems to be the one. Let's see how it works by typing md2 config as the help message suggests. Here we can see the help message for the config subcommand. Let's use the can option to change the actuator can ID. We will type md2 config can 100 as for the current ID, 300 as for the new ID, 1m as for the desired baud rate, and 100 as for milliseconds in the safety watchdog period time. After a successful ID change, we can call the ping command once again. As you can see, the ID was successfully changed to 300. This change is not permanent yet. To save it, you have to call the config save command like so. Be sure to always check if the new ID is not present on the bus, as it may cause communication errors if two identical IDs are being used. In case that happens, just unplug all actuators and modify the duplicated IDs one by one. Now let's change the default zero position of the actuator with ID equal to 300. First I run a simple Python script that will put the two actuators in their current zero position. OK, now to change the default position we need to manually move the shaft and send the md2 config 0 300 command. Now let's rerun the script. As you can see the zero position of the AX8108 actuator has changed. In order to save this setting in a non-volatile memory, let's call the md 2 config save 300 command. To check if that really worked, now I'm going to power cycle the actuators and see if the changed zero position was remembered.
Now we can run the script with, which moves the actuator to its zero position. As you can see, the AX8108 motor is now in its modified zero position. The next subcommand from MD2 help message is the setup command. When we type MD2 setup to see the help message, we can see it has two subcommands, namely the calibration and diagnostic. The calibration command performs a calibration routine which takes around 40 seconds to complete and is only required when a new MD8 is installed in the actuator or something changes in the mechanical assembly between the MD80 and the motor. We can call the MD2 setup calibration 300 command to see how it works. During calibration, the motor performs two full rotations in each direction. It is essential to offload the motor shaft and allow it to rotate freely. We do not advise recalibrating the actuator without our recommendation. When the motor stops, the MD80 will reboot, loading new calibration parameters. The calibration is now finished. The test command can be used to rotate the actuator in the impedance mode to see if everything works as expected. This mode uses default impedance gain, so do not worry if the motion is not very smooth. You can easily modify the gains to your needs in the C++ or Python scripts. The last command can be used to find a specific actuator in a long CAN string by blinking its LEDs. Let's type MD2 blink and the ID that we want to find. Currently the AX8108 has ID equal to 300 and its LEDs are blinking. This was the last example for this video. If you'd like to read more about the MD80 controller and candle, be sure to check out the manual, our GitHub repo, and stay tuned for the next tutorial videos. Goodbye.